Hey, hey, Bubba J, look where I'm headed today. This is the bush track that goes down to the car wreck where a redback spider was released two years ago. Wow, how the two years have flown by. And my son called the redback spider Mrs. John Cena. Mrs. John Cena is a famous redback spider on my YouTube channel. Maybe you can hunt around for those videos. I'm not going to detail exactly what she got up to, but she was an epic killer spider. Now, I was meant to come down here at night, but I thought I better not because we've had a stack of trouble in my part of town. The summer that we've just gone through was by far one of the stormiest and worst summers in the fact that the amount of rain and stuff that we had that I can remember for a very long time. So I thought I didn't want to induce any more trouble in my life uh, and coming down here at night could have people calling the police. It just could have been a whole stack of trouble. But if I remember, there is a, a little bit of technology that I could buy that could let me see the car wreck at night remotely from home. If I remember, I'll speak about that later in the video. I think the car wreck is just around the corner here. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Okay, this is the car wreck and people tell me that this used to be a VB Commodore, so it's like a car from the 1980s era. It doesn't look that much different from when I was last here. I did bring a, a grab bag of stuff with me, most importantly a set of gloves, uh, I'll need those today. That there's the bond of the hood of the car, I'm always worried about Joe Blake's, uh, which are snakes. I'm just going to very carefully look underneath there. I can't see much uh, striking out at me, so it looks fairly safe. This section here is the top of the McPherson strut. Basically, the spring and everything would be below this and the wheel assembly. I can see very fine web going through here. It's extremely fine. And if I turn stuff over, and of course I've got gloves on, hopefully I'm safe. Uh, I can't quite see anything scurrying. Oh, I can see it. Okay, I can see a spider. And it's a red back, and let me go in closer. Okay, looking right in the middle of the screen, that there is a juvenile redback spider. Very small, would have been out of its egg sac not that long back. Very nice find indeed. Whoa! And of course the spider is going to want to hide, isn't it? So if I'm finding that there, I'm sure we're going to find others if I'm really lucky or unlucky. Hmm, it's really the web will tell you where the spider is. I'm not seeing too much web under there. Okay, curious. That there is the McPherson strut. Okay, that's one of the wheel assemblies. And down here, I can see very, very fine web. I dare say it is redback spider web. Uh, those other grey house spiders, cement spiders, I don't think they would be down here because I know the redbacks love this sort of environment. So as you often hear me say, if you find the web, often you'll find the spider. Lots of this area is actually looking fairly clean. Okay, I wonder what's under here. Oh, yeah, there's more web there. Okay, let me see if I can pull this one out and pull it over. Definitely a job to do once you've had your tetanus shots. And, oh, crikey, look what I've just found. A redback spider's nest there with all the egg sacs. Now, I think that's the nest area here. Maybe the spider is here. There's something that it's eaten there. I mean, the spider would have taken off for its life because it's in fear of its life if it's being interrupted like this. I know you're curious, like me, these are empty egg sacs. They go uh, nice and, well, cream coloured, would be the best way to say it, uh, when they're empty. And what I'd like to try and do is always return things to the way it was. Something, something like that. I'll put things back because I'd hate to leave this uh, looking like a car wreck. The next place we're going to take a look at is the engine over there. I'll just carefully head over there. I'm always checking the ground to make sure there's nothing that's going to go snappy snappy at me. Australia is like that, full of things that aren't that friendly. Okay, here is the wonderful engine. If I lay a torch in here, it may help me paint a picture I want you to see. Okay. The engine's laying over on its side. This is the exhaust manifold here. I can see spider web here. Uh, I'm sure I've poked around in that before and seen no spider web. If I come down to where the sump would be, so the oil of the engine would be in here and the crankshaft would be splashing around in this, there's actually spider web all through here. And I think where I've laid my torch in there is the best illustration of what I'm calling um, you know, red, classic redback spider spider web. Yes, it's everywhere. I can see down on the ground here there's uh, numerous bugs here that the redbacks have captured. Yeah, nasty critters, eh? Hungry as well. I'm uh, looking right up inside one of the pistons there. I think that's Redback Spot egg sacs. It'd be right in the middle of the screen. I hope I'm right there. Looking up inside another area inside the motor there. 
Sometimes I don't see stuff until it's up on the computer screen and maybe you can be screaming at me, you can see something. But really the chances of seeing an adult spider uh, in the daytime like this out of their web would be very, very tricky to see. Very reclusive spiders and well, that's why they're survivors, so they don't like being out in the open. And just taking a look at the bell housing there, it's always been a little home for the spiders. Yes, I can see the redback spider web there. And it's always been there every time I've come down and look at the car wreck. I've never gone up to the back of the car wreck here. I've left that alone. I've always concentrated with what's up front. Uh, that there is one of the side fenders. Okay, and I think it's this area here. That to me shouts Commodore. It's when I see that shape there. That's what I looked at, but I think a lot of people ID'd the car by looking at the engine here. And if it's, let's say, a red straight six engine, well, apparently that's what the VB Commodores had. I did a bit of reading up about them. I was hoping to find a smidgen of red paint, but all this has been incinerated in a, probably an insurance job. But what I do notice now is uh, 202 there. So yes, that might help some of the car freaks about what this exactly is. Now I'm sure there are many people who are curious to see this car wreck as a car on the road today. And my crikeys, uh, did I strike gold. Uh, during the stormy time in our suburb, there was this amazing Commodore L parked on the road where I live. And I took some photographs of this because I knew it was an earlier version of a Commodore. This would be very, very close to the same era of the car wreck in the bush. Mind you, this is a station wagon. I can see it's got the milk crate grill detailing at the front. It looks like the Australian milk crates. So this would be like a VC Commodore 1980 to 81. I hope I'm correct there. I just did some internet looking, but my Holden Freak fans can correct me if I'm wrong. But this gives you a good idea of what we're dealing with when the car was back up on the road and not a car wreck in the bush. And for me to think about this vehicle when I used to see them on the roads, crikey Charlie's, I have to go right back to when I was a very young teenager, late 70s, early 80s. What was I doing back then? I was at the beginning of high school. I was going to see the rock band Kiss in the 1980s Australian tour, the Dynasty tour, or maybe in the USA you say Dynasty. I'll tell you what, it was just a very, very long time ago. But as for when this car got wrecked in the bush, well, that's a total unknown. I'm just noticed it's starting to get a little bit dark here. <laughs> and when I look up here, oh, crikey Charlie's, it looks like there's some rain about to happen. Oh, it's just starting to rain here. Now look on the radar, there's a lot of rain headed my way. Dang it. Well, this has come out of nowhere, but then again, we've had one of those sorts of summers and now the car wreck is all nice and glossy and wet. Oh man, I'll, I'll let me do one more thing here in the rain uh, before I go away. I actually brought with me some crickets because I thought they could entice the spiders out of the webs and it's getting very dark now. Maybe I'm just crazy trying to attempt this. Uh, what I will do is I'll just release one box in the rain and that's going to help the spider population. I can see the crickets are getting away. I want the crickets to be stuck into, in the web. That's the whole game. Okay, so if I let the crickets go, it may induce spider frenzies or it may just cause utter chaos here. Who knows what we're going to see happen. But well, what I'm looking for is a spider to come out and pounce a cricket. I can see the stupid LED torch strobing on me. Sorry about that. And the rain's starting to get heavier. I think that was just... <laughs> I think that was a total waste of time. I think all those crickets have got away somehow. And the rain's getting heavier and heavier. Great! Oh, was that cricket caught in the web there? Oh, come on. Oh! Will we see... That, that, that's the red back there, isn't it? Yes! Oh man, I believe that's a red back there. I think it is. And it's raining heavier and heavier. Oh, crikeys! What am I doing here? Oh crikeys, I've got it. There's a red back. It's under the engine there. And it's got that cricket. So yes, that, it's, a, it's a, a youngish one. I can see the white marking still on its back there. Oh, thank goodness that worked. I was thinking, oh, the crickets are all going to get away. But I've got what I wanted to see, and it's, you know, seeing is believing. I want to see the spiders. I know they're here, but we like to see them, don't we? I am now soaking wet. Here I am on the ground with my camera. I've got crickets all around me and redback spider web everywhere. I feel like I'm about to be bitten. Well, that was down there, and I did have a bit of a giggle because a lot of those crickets decided to run inside the engine there because it's nice and dry. Well, they, little do they know, that's basically where all the redbacks are hanging out. I don't like the chances of those crickets surviving much into the night, especially that one who's just gone into the bell housing there. It'll be a good night, sister, to you.
And yes, the red back under the engine there is still working that cricket. They tend to, well, bind them up, take control, they tend to put a bite in, that immobilizes the cricket. Then the venom takes effect on the critter and then they'll, well, a little bit later on come along for a bit of a feed. I'm hoping that was educational enough for this silly sight. It's got very dark now. Oh, crikey, I'm glad I brought a torch because it's getting like, you know, nighttime conditions, even though this is the middle of the day. And I still see a lot of the crickets hanging around the flywheel area there, up around the starter motor zone there. Okay, and I was hoping to see maybe a spider would come pouncing out of the bell housing there, but I haven't seen that happen. But it's just a reminder to me of how recluse and secretive these spiders are. They're even at night time, you've got to be really, really lucky to see them. And what I've worked out, well, the best way to see them is by using that security camera system that I've got. And uh, I was able to study a redback spider setting up a spider nest and web. And man, it gave me an idea. That could be the solution to seeing what's going on down at this vehicle here. The rain is starting to be set in now. It's getting very tragic here. Yes, maybe if the Arlo people can talk to me and send me out that system they've got that works on the G network. It basically works on the telephone network. I could set up a remote camera here at night, uh, hide it where the spider set up. I know where the spider set up and I could see the spiders as I've seen them at home underneath my car and also around the pot plants. I think that'd be a beautiful solution to understanding the spiders around the car wreck. Uh, but sadly, I can't afford that camera system or any more of that camera system. I'm hoping the Arlo people can talk to me and we could do some sort of deal. Well, this might sound a bit crazy. I'll leave a little bit of treasure down here if anyone wants to come down and claim the treasure. I'm gonna put on the engine here, a little plastic red back spider on the engine right there for someone to claim if they come down to the car wreck. So don't say I never left anything out for you. There you go. Plastic red back spider on engine that's infested with red backs. Be careful. Okay, so for the last time, it's a two-year anniversary of Mrs. John Cena being released here. She would have passed away a while back now. It's goodbye, Redback Spider Car Wreck, and I'm getting out of here. It is pouring of rain. Everything is filthy soaked. Man, my bag is soaked. Oh, my torch is still on in there. Should turn it off. Crikey, Charlie's. I'm out of here. Crikey's, I'm at the top of the hill here, and I'm looking over the valley. It's all misty and horrible. Man, the weather changed so rapidly. I never saw that coming. And if I knew it was coming, I wouldn't have come down here today. Crikey, Charlie's. So, yeah, that's the uh, second year anniversary of the uh, Mrs. John Cena Redback Spider site. And uh, sorry for the blurb about the Arlo camera, but I'll tell you what, I can't afford to buy that and risk it to make a video with because, well, Unfortunately, the income on YouTube has capitulated, and what that means, it's, it's tragically gone down. It's now unviable to make content on the site now. Now, what I can't work out is, how could a site that used to be amazing turn so unamazing in such rapid time? And you may have a conspiracy theory about this. Uh, I'd like you to tell me what's going on, but when the CEO told us, oh, once the advertiser backlash is finished, it'll come good. Well, no, it hasn't come good. In fact, if anything, it's come, it's got worse, way worse. And if the Arlo company wants to talk to me, I would love you to send me out that system you've got that works on the telephone network because then I could see what's going on with those spiders at night. And that would induce me to go back to the car wreck after the two year period. Okay, sorry for begging, but well, these days I have to.